So in this video we're going to use an Arduino board with Wi-Fi capabilities and a range sensor to create an apparatus that will send you a text message when it detects motion. That way you can make an intruder alarm. Chill with the broom. You know your door's unlocked, right? Sorry, I'm an idiot. So, uh, to do this video, you're going to need an Arduino Yune or an Arduino Leonardo with a Wi-Fi shield. You're going to need a range sensor. You're going to need a couple uh, female to male wires. You're going to need a 9-volt battery and a 9-volt battery pack with a barrel plug to power your Arduino and an on-off switch. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is uh, let's hook everything up according to this diagram and let's just get our range sensor tested to see if it's working. So make all these connections here. Um, you could also use a mini breadboard to put the sensor in and make the connections from there. Um, then you'd need just four male to male wires. That does make it a little bit easier um, just to keep your range sensor stable but you can do it either way. So make these connections and then I'm going to put a link to the code in the description you want to go to this website here and then the first code block it says test code up here copy and paste this into the Arduino IDE okay paste that verify you're gonna to have to save it I don't know. put alarm okay so that should be good plug in your board and upload this code now pull up the serial monitor and you should have a situation like this so your range sensor is right now sending pings out to the closest object which in my case is this wall and it's spitting out that data to your serial monitor serial monitor rather um, and it's giving you the distance in inches so if you were to swipe your hand in front of it it would now say intruder detected sending text notification Okay, so you will notice that depending on where you have this range sensor pointed, uh, these values on the serial monitor will be different. So if you look into the code here <clears throat> where it says, you know, if inches less than 12 or inches greater than 500, um, depending on where you have this thing located, you may need to change those values. Like, for example, when I swipe up on my monitor, uh, the inches actually jumps to 906, even though I was actually closer um, by far than 906 inches. I don't know why it does that, but that's kind of why I include this OR statement here. So depending on how your range sensor is acting or where it's located in your, your house, um, you may want to change these values here. So it's set to send a text notification if the inches is less than 20 or if it's greater than 500. So you may need to play around with those. Now we can work on getting the text message functionality working. So uh, the way it's going to work is we're going to communicate with Tembu, which is a service that makes it really easy to integrate with other APIs. So we're going to use Tembu to communicate with the uh, Twilio API, which will allow us to send text messages to our phone. So first thing we need to do is get your Arduino board connected to your network. So if you've never done this before, if you're using a Yoon, I'll put these links in the description, but if you're using a Yoon, use this documentation here. If you're using the Leonardo and the uh, Arduino Wi-Fi shield, use this documentation here. So then go to tembu.com and sign up for an account if you don't already have one. And then go to Twilio and sign up for an account here. Now go to the website with the code on it and go to the second block copy and paste all this to right here open up the IDE and paste all this information in here and then we need to make a header file so go new tab and call it tembu account dot h make sure those the T and the A are capitalized go back to the website and copy this last block which is the header file and paste that in there 
save all this. Uh, let's see, intruder, alarm, test. Doesn't matter what you save that as, but regardless. So you have your header account. Now, you're going to need to enter your Tembu information here. So obviously your account name goes here inside the quotations. Your Tembu app key name goes here and your Tembu app key goes here. Now go to the regular code and I believe, let's see, down towards the bottom, yeah. So right here where it says set Chorio inputs. This is where you put all of your Twilio information. So your authorization token is going to go here. It's a big long string of random letters and numbers. Um, and then here, put the cell phone number that you want the text to go to. So it's got to be, leave that plus one there and then put, you know, area code and then whatever number it is. And then Twilio is going to generate you a phone number. It's going to be basically the number that you're sending the text from. So put that number into here. And then you can customize whatever you want the message to say here. And then put your Twilio account SID right there. Okay, so once all of your account information is in, you should be able to upload this code. Okay, now pull up the serial monitor and we can see exactly what it's doing. It might take a minute to connect to the network here. But in this case, I actually have the um, sensor in a different room in my house and the wall is a lot farther away, so now it's printing out 893. So I had to change this value here to greater than 1100. So just a quick note on that. And then also, you only get so many calls for free to Tembu and Twilio per month. So just be careful, um, you know, how many times uh, you're calling these services or else you have to pay. I think it's like $7 a month and you get unlimited calls. But just something to take note of. And then the other thing is, um, I don't know about the Yoon, but in my case, I'm using the Leonardo and the Wi-Fi shield. I, you can't power it from just the USB alone. You need to be powering it from a, a bigger power supply. So that 9-volt um, battery pack works good. But if you're trying to just power it from the USB with the switch on the battery pack off, it will not connect to the network. Now, also, see here on the serial monitor, it's printing out the um, distance in inches continuously here. You can comment this out. You don't actually need it to be clogging up your monitor and everything. I just like it for debugging purposes and it's also really nice when um, you know, putting, you're putting it in a different room uh, so you can kind of see how it's acting before you leave it for a while just to make sure it's not constantly going to be sending you text messages. Also really quick, I think on the code that I uploaded I had it set to print um, dots here so you could tell that it's working or you can tell when it's monitoring. You can change this um, to inches. So to eliminate the quotes, type in inches, that's the variable, variable name that we calculated here. Type in inches and then that'll actually print you out um, the distance that the sensor is away from the closest object continuously. So that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see in the next useless tutorial.